Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, um, I dreamt last night that I was giving you a personal reading, okay? We're sitting at my table, and I'm giving you some kind of personal reading. So, really, you're going to get, like, two readings in one today, Cancer, because I have to go through this dream that I had about you first, <laughs> And these are the cards that I had on my table for you in my dream. Okay, I pulled these because I wanted you to have a visual of what I saw in my dream last night. Okay, anyway, my darlings, just take this however it resonates with you. Okay, it's not going to be for all of you, right? And um, thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. The likes, the subscribes, comments, everything. Um, thank you so much, my darlings. I could barely wait to do this reading today, honestly. Whenever I have a dream about doing a reading for someone, it just, you know, honestly, it feels like there's some kind of warning in it. All right, so I need you guys to use your discernment, especially this weekend if you're going to be traveling. Um, in my dream, you got the chariot card, the star card, the emperor, and the death card, okay? You may even find out that someone has passed on, and you could even be traveling to go to a funeral or a wake this, this weekend. That's specific. Um, if it's not that... You're traveling with someone else. I feel like um, you're not going to be alone. And in my dream, they showed me these hardwood floors like from an ancient old building. Now, it could be anything. I picked up on Renaissance Fair vibes. Um, I'm picking up on antique mall vibes, okay? Um, I, you could even be going to a cabin. They showed me snow on the ground, so there could be a light layer of snow on the ground, okay, wherever you're going. Um, you may even run into some kind of bad weather and need to stay someplace along your travels, okay? Um, but yeah, I definitely am seeing you traveling. Um, it could even be just a weekend trip. It could be for something you may have found out that someone has passed on, okay? Um, but in your travels, wherever it is that you're going, you're with someone else and they may pressure you to go somewhere that doesn't feel right, okay? I'm, I'm kind of getting, that's the warning. Um, if you're going to any kind of building or any kind of event, or it, it could be anywhere, if you feel a heaviness cancer, you need to get out of there, okay? Don't go to places where you feel that negativity, all right? Only stay in high-vibing places, okay? Um, because this emperor, whoever this is, it, there was a dark figure that came into the dream I had about you, okay? So whoever this emperor is, they've got either a dark attachment or this could be that dark figure, Okay, now this could be a couple of things. It could be, like I said, you may find out that someone is passing away. Somebody who's got like a larger than life kind of energy, okay? Um, this could be somebody who may have been very controlling. This could be somebody who's still with us and who is very controlling. And they're at, they are all up in your energy, all right? wanting to know where you are, what you're doing. Um, if you're like going someplace with a friend, right, and you walk into this building and you feel some kind of heavy negative energy around you, it could be this person. So it's either an entity or it's somebody who could be passing on or it's somebody's energy around you that's just like all up in your energy. But I'm I'm feeling rage off of this person, a lot of negativity off of them. They definitely have some kind of negative entity attached to them. Um, so I feel like this is kind of a test for you. You're in this star energy, right? Very intuitive. Um, you are like a guide for other people. That star energy, that's um, somebody who's you really stand out like a sore thumb. You really do. 
okay, people can pick up on that energy. And if this is somebody who is passed on, um, they, they can see you, all right? So they'll hover around you. And I don't want you guys, it's very important, I don't want you to stay anywhere where you feel that negativity, okay? If you feel any kind of heaviness or darkness, you need to get out of that building. Um, if you're doing something like, um, say you get pressured, right, from uh, whoever you're traveling with to go into a haunted house or to do like some kind of weird spiritual work like um, a Ouija board or it could even be getting a tarot card reading from someone, okay? Um, I don't think you should do that. Okay, there's something about your light that's attracting this energy. Okay, um, so yeah, I, you're going to want to bail from that area real fast. Um, yeah, Cancer, I feel like you're going somewhere in your travels here. You're not, I don't think you're going to have a hard time traveling and getting where you are, but I feel like you're going you're gonna to be stepping into a place um, or a situation where there's negativity around you. And um, you're going to need to pull yourself out of that energy, okay? You're, you're going to need to leave the building. Just don't even say anything. Just walk out, okay? Don't be around it. So, yeah, that was what they showed me. when the, And the, when this negative energy um, came into the dream, it was like this big, huge, tall, black figure, okay? Um, you may even have your dreams infiltrated by this person. Like, I don't know what this is. It's going to be different for a lot of you, okay? It could be somebody passing on that you find out about. They're going to have their energy around you. Um, or it's a place where you go and this person's energy is around you, okay? Or this is somebody who's still alive that is, I'm, I'm telling you, the rage that I felt off of that, um, off of that entity or whatever it is that came into your dream, um, it's rage, it's jealousy, it's wanting to control, okay? It's like boss energy, but in a very negative way. I, I want you guys to stay away from it. Stay away from any places where you feel that negativity, okay? But yeah, this is these were the only cards that were out in your dream. You're definitely going to be traveling. It may there may be snow on the ground. Um going someplace really old, like ancient hardwood floors, okay, is what they showed me. Just be careful out there. Cancer, I feel like you're, the travel part is going to go smooth, but you're going to be faced with some kind of dark energy around you, okay? And I want you to hightail it out of there as fast as you can. You are the light and you're attracting, you attract these things to you, okay? Um, it's your energy, my darlings. So use your discernment. I feel like um, you're supposed to be alert, stay alert during your travels. I don't know where you guys are going, um, but yeah, yeah. And you may have this same dream, okay? You may have the same dream, Cancer, and it, it may even worry you. Like, say you're going, you're traveling, right? And you, um, you're going to some kind of older building, all right, to stay in, like an, a really old hotel or something like that. Okay, you're going to pick up on this dark energy. Get out of there. Switch to a different hotel. You know what I mean? Because it's it could give you these same kind of dreams, nightmares. Someone could also be trying to infiltrate your dreams here, Cancer, okay? Um, yeah, this just feels like a warning to me, my darlings. But it's gonna it's gonna happen to you while you're traveling. See, and this this is that ancient building, right? With all the old wood. You may want to switch hotels, Cancer. If you're traveling, you may want to switch hotels. Um, give me one more on this, and then we'll get into your regular 
What is this all about? There's another person here. You know, this could be this person, this King of Pentacles energy. Yeah, Cancer, if you're around anyone, okay, um, that makes you feel weird, right, in any way, use your intuition, my darlings. Use your intuition. You don't have to say anything. You just need to leave out of there, okay? Because there is definitely somebody all up in your energy here. This, what I feel like it's going to be this weekend since I almost said it. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe an Aquarius. You know, I don't know what this is. Somebody may even want money from you, get angry. You know, there could even be um, something where the divine stops you from staying someplace, okay? Um if you're going to a like an older hotel, there may even be some issues with payment, with getting your, your credit card to work or something like that. And I feel like um, that's a sign, that's going to be a sign to you not to stay there, okay? Not to stay there. And even though you may not have any place else to stay, you're not going to want to stay there, all right? It's a very old building is what I saw. Because you're going to feel the energy coming at you, Cancer, okay? Yeah, just be careful with this, my darlings. Use your intuition. Trust your intuition. If anything makes you feel off, unbalanced in any way, even if you're getting peer pressure to stay where you are, I feel like you're going to know, Cancer, you can't be there. Okay, you're going to be picking up on it. There's something about, you know, this could be a test of your, of your heightened abilities as well. Um, trust that intuition and go. Even if somebody wants you to stay, um, trust your intuition. This is someplace you shouldn't be. Okay, and this is somewhere where you're going on your travels. All right? That's what I got from my dream anyway, okay? And it is a warning. I feel like it's a warning for you. Um, it's also, it feels like a test to me. Can it feels like a test to me, Cancer, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, just bail. Don't say anything about it. You don't, you don't feel pressured to stay. Um, just go, 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 go. All right. Anyway, that was my dream that I had you guys. And I, I know it's, it, it was, it was short, but that's what I got from my dream. Now let's look into the rest of this. Okay. Um, spirit, what do you have for my beautiful cancers? Messages for cancer, please. Messages for cancer. Yeah. Judgment, Two of Cups. Transformation. Cancer, something is about to transform for you. You have either, either you've been through judgment or, I mean, you've passed judgment here. I feel like, um, and I feel like you may even find out that somebody is passing away this weekend. I got to say. It could actually be a soulmate. You may have intuitively already picked up on this. Guys, it's tying in with your dream a little bit. Um, this doesn't have to be, this could be, because this is a mother. So there could be a mother that's passing away. Or you may even find out that um, somebody here is pregnant. And cancer, you know, if you if you have found out that someone's passed on and you have to go to a funeral, people are going to want to fight with you, but you're going to be handling, like, you're not going to want to talk to anybody. 
you're going to want to go and pay your respects and not speak to anybody, okay? Because you know that these are people that just want to fight with you. Um, yeah. All the illusions are down, though, with judgment and the Seven of Cups coming out. I, I feel like um, somebody here or a group of people are going to realize that even if you're around them, Cancer, you're not going to speak to them anymore. Like you may see people from your past, but you're going to walk right past them. You're not going to even, and that's going to cause them to like react, okay? Like uh, they could be talking about you behind your back at this event, whatever this is. Um, honestly, you guys. But people are going to realize that you're just not dealing with them anymore. Okay? And I'm feeling like they're going to realize that it's their fault. Um, you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy, this Empress and the Minor Arcana. Um, your life is transformed. You're different. They're going to see that you're different. You are not open to people anymore the way you were before. I feel like judgment is on these people and you are moving, you're just, you walk right past them. You don't even talk to them. This doesn't have to be um, like a funeral for anybody. I, I feel like they're going to see that you've changed. You're no longer focused on them. You're a different person now. And they're not going to like this at all, okay? So you're going to be having to, I feel like the divine is putting you in the same area or the same energy as these other people. They're testing you, Cancer, to see what you do. You know, um, some of us, you know, uh, people will like, when you see enemies and you know that they're enemies, um, sometimes our first reaction is to be polite, Okay, be polite and, and say hello and just, you know, maybe keep it moving, right? But you don't even say a word to them. You don't. Who, for whoever this is for, you're going to be someplace where you're going to see these enemies out and they're going to think that you'll at least talk to them and you're not. You walk right past them. They see that you have completely transformed here. You're no longer the open very loving, very, like you, you're very real with people now, okay? If you know that you have an, en an enemy, you stay the heck away from them. You're not going to go up and be polite with them and chit-chat with them. You're going to walk right past them, Cancer. You don't want to have anything to do with these people, and they're going to see that. Holy cow, has Cancer changed, right? They're, they may even see that they've missed their opportunity with you because you're very loving. I feel like you were the treasure for these people, but not anymore. You're not, you're not dealing with them anymore, and you're not going to be fake with them, okay? You're not even going to speak to these people. Oh, yeah, they're going to see this for real. They're going to see that your life is very balanced. You're very balanced in your emotions, you know, these people could be talking about you behind your back and you could hear them and not even say a word. You just don't. You want to completely ignore a whole group of people. And it, it could be family. It could be friends. It could be exes. I feel like it's a whole group that you're, you're showing them you're not the same person. Do not mess with cancer. Cancer doesn't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Cancer's not going to be polite. Cancer's not going to be like chit-chatting with you knowing that you're the enemy. Okay? That's truly what I'm feeling like here. Justice, vindication. People are going to realize they missed out on an opportunity with you. Okay, they're going to see you for who you are now because you have changed, Cancer. You've transformed your whole life. And I feel like you're putting an end. This could be you putting an end to some things with this group. Okay, you don't even have to say anything, Cancer. And you're getting your justice. You may even notice um, some people, 
going through it, right? A lot of chaos, a lot of drama with some people, and you do nothing to help them. They may even ask for your help, and you're not going to give it to them. You're not going to say a word. I feel like you're being divinely led and protected. The Spirit wants you to use your intuition. They could be seeing how um, intuitive you truly are here. Yeah, look, they're looking at your intuition like, you know, honestly, it's giving me that feeling where they think that you're going to be stuck up, okay? But you're not. You're just intuitive and you know to stay away from people. You know to stay away from negative energy. You're not going to... Um, you, you don't want to talk to anybody who comes with karma, okay? I feel like um, they, yeah, they may feel like, well, who does cancer think she is? You know what I mean? Who does cancer think she is? I feel like they're going to be working really hard. A whole group of people is going to be working really hard to get you, to like get under your skin, right? Um yeah, they're going to be working really hard to kind of get you all angry or upset or they're going to want you to fight with them or argue or something. They're going to be saying things like, who the heck do you think you are? That kind of thing. It's given me that feeling. Cancer, just keep walking. Stay silent. Don't deal with these people. Don't deal with anybody negative. Look, they just want to say things to make you upset. Knight of Swords energy. This is that who do you think you are kind of attitude. Okay? And Cancer just hold, look at every everywhere I'm looking, just ignore them, right? That's what you're doing here. You walk right past these people. Just ignore them. Don't give them your love. Don't give them your time or your energy. Remain quiet here. Very quiet. Hold your head up high. Stand your ground. Remain, uh, have your boundaries up against these people. I feel like somebody is going to be like, who do you think you are? And Cancer, you're going to be like, I am the earth angel. I'm intuitive and I know better than to deal with people like you. Okay, just remain peaceful because I really, the, all of this is the truth. They're going to try to get you upset. They're going to try to get you to notice them. They're going to try to stir up drama and chaos. I don't know where you guys are going, okay, or who you're running into, but it's a whole group of people that are going to try to really tick you off, Cancer. Just remain balanced. All of this is balance, okay? Remain balanced in your emotions. Ignore these people. These are your enemies, okay? Yeah, see, they want you to feel like you're out in the cold. They may even try to make you feel left out. But in all honesty, Cancer, you're leaving them out of your life. You don't want to have anything to do with these people. Okay? They may want to um, get together and, like, you know, pick on you or something. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. They're, like, picking on you as a group. Just remain strong. Stand your ground, Cancer. Is this is what's going on this weekend? Honestly, I, I, from both of the readings, I feel like you've got negative people around you that just want to pull you down to their level. That's what this feels like to me. They want to pull you down to your level. Or you could be getting tested by the divine to see how you handle the situations. Are you going to trust your intuition? You know, are you going to stand up for yourself? Right? I feel like, you know, Cancer, the days of being nice to people just to appease them and try to keep the peace, those days are over. You don't have to fight with anybody. You're definitely not fighting with anyone here. But you're standing your ground and you're moving on from them. I feel like they end up getting more upset than what they're trying to make you. And all you do, um, all you're doing is 
ignoring them altogether is what it looks like to me. You're going to be ignoring these people altogether because you know what you've learned. Why would you continue to give your energy and your sweetness to people that don't deserve it? Okay, you hold your head up high and you walk right past these people and they can't stand it. I don't know where this is, you guys. You have to use your discernment with that. I am seeing traveling, though, Cancer, okay? I don't know where you have to go around all these people. All these people at one, at one time are going to be picking at you. They're going to be saying nasty things to you. Who do you think you are walking right past us? Cancer, you don't even have to say a word. I mean, you, some of you will. Some of you will speak your truth. I don't want to have anything to do with enemies. I don't want to have anything to do with people who just want to stir up drama in my life. Right? But some of you won't have to say anything at all. Just continue to ignore them and don't let these people get under your skin. I, man, where are you going to be? You know, there could be a king of pentacles here involved. I'm kind of getting the sense that there is somebody here who's not saying anything to you, but wishing for you, Cancer. Wishing that they could be with you, okay? While a whole group is trying to um, get you all upset, there's one person who's just kind of sitting here being quiet about it and daydreaming. Yeah, very quiet. Hermit energy. You could be dealing with the Virgo. So this is what is about to happen. Yeah, this person can't sleep at night. They're watching you silently, wanting to be with you, Cancer. But yeah, you move on. So there is going to be somebody. Yep, yeah, you're turning your back on this person. Um, there's going to be a person in the group that's not saying a whole lot. This person wants to be with you. Okay, but the rest of these people are going to be like, who do you think you are, Cancer? You know, you can't just ignore us. You don't just walk past. That was rude. You know what I mean? And Cancer, you're not trying to be rude to anybody. They're being rude to you. Um, all you're doing is taking your energy away from them. But this person over here, this King of Pentacles, I feel like they're part of this group, but they're not saying anything. They're not defending you either. They're just watching you, wishing for you, wanting you, okay? I feel like you leave all of these people behind. If Here's the thing. It's almost like you're going to be in a, put in a situation with all of that. What did I say about the dream, you guys? Okay, this really kind of confirms it. With all of this darker energy, okay? And you're going to want to leave. You're going to want to turn your back, leave everybody behind, and just go. And you're going very quietly, okay? I don't see you saying a whole lot. I'm seeing them trying to badger you, but you're not doing anything wrong. And you leave and you leave them all behind. Because you use your intuition. Okay, so basically, Cancer, the, the big... Um, message here, right? Wherever you go this weekend or next week, if it feels off, if there's too many negative people, if there's just too much negativity, if it feels heavy for you at all, get out of that situation. You don't have to say anything. Just keep to yourself and go. Okay? And leave all of these people behind. All right? You don't have to be anywhere where people try to make you feel like this. You don't have to say anything to people who just want to fight with you, blame you, stir up drama. Because all these people want to do is hurt you with their words, right? Sorry, cancer, my battery died. All these people want to do is upset you. 
okay and i'm telling you somebody here this weekend is gonna is gonna hear the words who do you think you are cancer who do you think you are you know what you're an earth angel that's who you are you're an earth angel who's been given these beautiful special psychic abilities and who knows not to mess with people anymore that are just trying to cause chaos in your life and that's all to get justice and vindication, all you have to do is ignore them, not say a word, and walk away. Okay? All right? Don't be anywhere where there's this much negativity. Okay? If you feel anything weird or off or negative, just leave. That's, that's the advice here, Cancer. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. Two readings in one, kind of the same message coming through, uh, coming through as well. Okay, so that's a bit odd, but I love it. Anyway, my darlings, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.